All right guys, welcome back to another tech channel video. Thanks for checking out our tech channel. Today is a great day because we have the latest and greatest from our friends over at DJI. Now full disclaimer, um, this is not a paid advertisement for them, but they did send us these things for free. So shout out to DJI, appreciate you thinking of us. So this here, if you guys aren't familiar yet, is the DJI Mavic Mini. And it's significant for a couple different reasons. The main one being, it's under 250 grams, which is going to be appetizing to a lot of people all over the world because of all of the regulations and rules regarding airspace that have been going into effect. Another cool thing about this is it comes in right at the $399 price point. And now if you're familiar with drones and especially DJI drones, you know that that is significant because it has been a while since DJI has come out with a drone in that price point. So first impression with this thing was the weight. Like obviously you know that it weighs 249 grams, um, but specifically when I took this out of the box without a battery in it, it almost felt like a joke. Like there's no way it can be that light, um, but it is. And majority of the weight when it's flying is the battery. The battery is literally just about as heavy as the entire drone itself. Now, speaking of the battery, it's actually interesting. These might look familiar to you. And that is because it is a 2400 milliamp two cell lithium ion battery, which is cool because it gets you about a 30 minute flight time. And it's also significant because traditionally drones would use lithium polymer batteries. This allows the Mavic Mini to get great flight times up to 30 minutes. And uh, the flight performance is as you would expect from a DJI product. It flies really, really well, has super stable hover. Speaking of hover, it does have two downward facing sensors um, that assist with altitude management and also landing. The Mavic Mini has been stripped of all of its other sensors that its bigger brothers have, the Hasselblad Mavic Pro 2 and the the original Mavic. Those were loaded with forward facing sensors, side sensors. This one does not have any of those and I'm assuming it's an effort to keep the weight down below 250 grams. The Mavic by itself is $399. There is a fly more combo and that comes in at $499. That's actually what they sent us and it's actually highly recommended by me personally um, just because you get a couple extra batteries and it also gives you one of DJI's really cool multi chargers where you can have three batteries on charge at once and it will charge them individually and so you always have your batteries good to go. Now speaking of differences between this and its bigger brother, the Mavic 2 Pro, this is also running the video signal off of a Wi-Fi signal. It doesn't have the OcuSync, which might be a deal breaker for a lot of people, but I do have to say that I was very, very impressed with the quality and the range performance of the video downlink. We were using it on an iPhone and we were flying all over this golf course. Now, granted, we are in the middle of nowhere, so there's not really a lot of noise out here in terms of RF, but Overall, it was very, very good performance. Now, moving on to the camera, it has a nice little CMOS camera on there and it's being stabilized by a standard three axis gimbal. And just like all the other DJI drones with gimbals, it is rock solid. It doesn't even make sense how footage can be that stable on a flying object, but it is and it works really, really well. Overall, the video quality is really, really good. It will do 1080p at 60 frames per second, or you can bump it up to 2.7K at 30 frames per second, which is gonna be more than enough for most average users. And beyond that, it also takes 12 megapixel still images too. So you can both take video and pictures while you're in the air. Beyond that, it has some of the standard functionality that you would expect from a DJI drone. It's got a super rock solid, steady hover. And they also actually have been marketing this as an indoor flyer. So it should fly really, really good. Even if you don't have the GPS signal, um, these things fly so rock solid that it's gonna be pretty straightforward to fly in almost any scenario. They have these very nicely designed propeller guards, which actually snap on, you know, obviously when the Mavic is unfolded, the propeller guards not only make it safer for your drone to stay in one piece, but it also makes it safer for bystanders. So I could see how some people might get some use out of that. Now on the Mavic Mini, there is the return of the quick shots that were on a lot of the previous generation DJI drones. And quick shots you can think of basically as kind of like a semi-autonomous drone operator. Uh, basically you can tell the drone that I want to do a droney, you hit go and it will do the movement for you without having to move the sticks or rely on pilot skill. There's a couple different quick shots on there. There's the droney, the rocket, circle and the helix. I was messing around with the helix and it's like a big corkscrew and it gains altitude and does this big sweeping motion that would actually require quite a bit of pilot skill to pull off manually. Cool thing with the quick shots is it does it for you. 
And speaking of the Wi-Fi performance beyond just the actual image quality, the distance they're saying is up to four kilometers. Now that is on the FCC compliant version. There's two different versions, I guess, depending on where you live. The FCC compliant one is four kilometer range, and then the CE compliant model is two kilometer range. So beyond the actual drone, the controller it uses is very reminiscent of the original Mavic. Now there is no screen on there. Cool thing that I like about it is a couple things actually. You can hook your phone up to it and it does charge your phone. A lot of times in the past, after flying like a Phantom or a Mavic, it would just drain your battery. And I'm happy to see that they're putting phone chargers on the actual controller now. Um, but beyond that also, it has removable sticks, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but you can pop those sticks off and then they actually store down underneath when the when the controller is folded up and it makes it a lot easier to take this thing on the road you can throw it in a backpack and you don't have to worry about those sticks getting all jammed up and bumping up against different things another big difference between this and some of the previous Mavic models is they updated the app or I should say they simplified the app and I actually like it quite a bit they've kind of minimalized everything on the app there's just less busyness going on on the screen and it allows you to focus on the reason why you're flying this thing which is to get awesome video and shots from above they're saying that the live view area is about 20% bigger compared to the old DJI Go app. And this is gonna be good for beginners. Now, speaking of beginners, they also have these things within the app called creator templates, which basically allow people to make cinematic videos at a push of a button. Not only that, but you can also share it on the go. So you can share it straight to social, straight from the app. And beyond the creator templates, they also have a new editor. So if you really wanted to get in there and edit and cut your videos up a little bit and put something out there, you can do it all from the app without having to go to the computer. Now, you can obviously transfer the footage and you can take that into Premiere or Final Cut or whatever you like to use to edit. But it is nice to have that functionality on the app so you can edit and share on the go. Also a great feature for beginners is it does have a flight tutorial within the app as well. So if you're new to drones, if you're new to flying, it's basically geared perfectly for, for you. It's, it's perfect for beginners. Um, not just the flight tutorial, but even down to the way the thing is flied. It is designed from the ground up so anybody out there can, can kind of pick this thing up, turn it on, and go out there and have a good experience. They also have like some third-party DIY creative kits too, which is kind of nice so your Mavic doesn't look so bland. It basically gives you the capability to customize your Mavic visually. All in all, we have been enjoying the Mavic Mini thoroughly. I know that the size and the weight is very significant for so many people, but if it were up to me, I wouldn't call it the Mavic Mini. I would call it the simple Mavic because not only is it small, but it's just extremely easy to use. It reminds me of the old point and shoot cameras that were designed for people who are not photographers to just be able to take photos. It just works and it works really, really well. I was even impressed on how much wind it could actually withstand being so light. We've been flying around here at the shop and we haven't really had a break in the weather and the thing just performs really, really well, not only dealing with the wind, but also keeping that footage nice and steady. And it, there's something kind of refreshing about not having all the bells and whistles. Some of the bigger, more expensive Mavics are great and they have all this great functionality, but it's just straight simple. Not only that, but it darn near fits in your pocket. I could see a lot of people getting a lot of use, a lot of real world people. Not, I'm not talking uh, aerial photographers or cinematographers. Uh, I'm talking maybe a dad like me who wants to get a drone, just capture memories and moments, take it on vacation. This is kind of like a real world recreational drone. And at that price point, it's a pretty appetizing package. Anyways, that kind of does it for the Mavic Mini. Uh, if you're on the fence, if you're new, I definitely would recommend this. A lot of people I see out there are buying Mavic 2 Pros. And I don't always think that all of those bells and whistles are something that everybody needs. So if you're the type of person who's maybe on the fence about getting your first drone, Mavic Mini is definitely a contender, especially for the price point. There's not gonna be much out there that even competes with it. Not much out there in general competes with DJI. They're kind of in a class of their own in, ter in terms of aerial photography platforms. And this is coming in at the bottom of the specter in terms of price, $400, you really can't beat that. If you have a little bit bigger budget, you might wanna look at going with something like the Mavic 2 Pro. But I'd say for 90% of people who are just looking to get a drone to fly recreation and take some photos and videos, um, this is going to meet the requirements of most people. The flight time is excellent. It's a very efficient drone. And uh, it's overall, it's what you would expect from DJI. So anyways, that's the uh, Mavic Mini. Thanks for checking out our tech channel. Uh, this is a secondary flight test channel, and this is where you're going to be finding all of our educational and resource-based videos. So tech reviews, build videos, that type of stuff. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. This is the channel where you're going to learn how to get into the hobby and have success. So thanks for watching guys and until the next one, catch you later.